Hey, welcome back and this is part 8 and we are going to be looking at templates and to get us started um, first let's introduce the Excalidra templates and what you need to do is you need to create a file you can name the file whatever and you can place it whatever just uh, you need to remember uh, the name so you can set it up in settings I my file is called template and it's right here uh, you open up template and do, you do your uh, settings uh, so you might have some preferences in this case my stroke color is blue uh, I can also go ahead and set up that uh, by default I want to see uh, the grid. Maybe I want to set that by default I want to use the coding type text. And I can, if I want to change this by default to dark mode, let's say this is my template. If I've set up my template and saved it, then I need to go into settings and in uh, under Excolid Raw, I can choose where my template file is, and my template file is in Excolid Raw slash template. So this is the name of my template file. And now, if I create a new drawing, for example, uh, let's just close this and let's create uh, a new drawing, then you can see that my new drawing is indeed going to have this color. Uh, it will have this font type, it's going to have the grid and uh, it actually um, is going to be in dark mode because that is uh, my setting. So that's uh, the simplest uh, way to set up a template and it's very powerful because you don't need to do all the settings that you like uh, right from the beginning. And then uh, the other ways of doing a template is you can actually use the uh, Obsidian Templates Core plugin because these are markdown files. You can create a template and you can simply create documents uh, from that template. And so therefore you have infinite number of templates uh, possible outside the, uh, the single template offered by uh, Excolidraw. And if you use uh, an engine like Templator or something else, then you can even um, create a template where you automatically uh, author some of the text on the page. So I can imagine that maybe your template uh, includes, a, uh, includes today's date in the bottom of your drawing, like I have the version number right here and Templator can automatically fill this in simply by um, modifying the right text element under text elements in the markdown file. So you would come here and you would put in your uh, Templator code, for example, instead of this and, and you could uh, simply add, well, here's the version text and you could write today's date or you could do some other preset text so that your drawings uh, are uh, set up the way you like them as you start uh, drawing. And then finally, there's one more type of more fancy or more um, uh, complex a template Excolidro Automate and I'm going to be uh, showing to you that in the next part.